Before I came to ERA, I was uh, the vice president of sales and marketing of a manufacturing company in Fort Worth, Texas. Um, I really had a desire to run my own business. Uh, my wife is running her own company, um, so I've sort of got to get a good understanding of what that's like from a day in and day out standpoint. And I've, uh, I've enjoyed watching her grow and develop as a person owning her own business. So I got the itch when I had the opportunity to, uh, to look at doing something on my own, uh, to look into franchises and this was one that I thought was a good fit for my skill sets and also for my background and uh, that my network of people that I could you know grow my business quickly. I think I chose ERA because I felt I could utilize the network that I had established over a 30-year career almost and be able to uh, get in front of those people uh, across the United States actually and be able to explain the model that ERA brings forth to companies um, in terms of saving uh, expenses and increasing cash flow. I thought that was a very logical uh, approach, a very logical business process, and uh, felt that it was good, uh, a good fit for my skill sets in terms of what I've done in the past um, from an executive standpoint. It's hard to say. I think the greatest achievement is learning curve. Um, you know, it's it's. I've learned a lot in a short period of time, and for someone that's been in business for a long period of time, a lot of people would say, "Well, what do you have to learn after 30 years?" Well, uh, you learn as much as you want to learn, and uh, there's been a lot. Uh, I, I I don't have experience in my background with all the different categories that we um, work on. So learning those different categories, learning those different strategies, um, and how to present those to prospective clients and then um, as you get a prospective client, an actual um, paying client, working with them and going through that process has been a great you know, experience, but I've learned a lot by doing it. I think success is the continuation of that learning process. I want to continue to grow and, and learn. I think that keeps you young and I think it keeps you motivated to do different things. Um, but I'd like to you know, be able to have the freedom to work as much as I want to and make a you know, a solid income. And what that means, I don't know. I don't know yet, but I know that I'm still relatively young and motivated and I want to make as much, of, uh, make, make as much money as I possibly can. And that's going to be predicated upon the amount of effort and time I put into it. So, you know, that's, that's what I'm going to continue to do. Well, it's been able to structure uh, my time and make it more flexible. And I think if you've ever worked from a home office environment, and I've done that a couple times in my career, uh, you end up working a lot more than you think um, because it's always there. Um, it's always 10, 15, 20 feet away um, from where you're at in your home. Um, you end up jumping into it and doing and checking emails and sending emails and things of that nature and making phone calls in different time zones. So you end up doing a lot more work than you, you think you would do when you're working at a home office. But um, I like the flexibility and the freedom that it allows me to, to do. Um, my job when I want to and when I have to and sometimes that's uh, you know early in the morning sometimes it's late at night and sometimes it's on the weekend so I have the flexibility to really make my schedule and do what I need to do.